so this isn't just about psychedelic solutions. This is just, this is about human solutions yeah. and community solutions. Yeah. And what is this ACE framework? So, so the ACE stands for Accept, Connect, Embody. And those, that's essentially psychological flexibility. So I did some qualitative research looking at the mechanisms that, what was happening in psychedelic experiences for people I interviewed, our participants. And from that, um, I got these two themes of acceptance and connection. And then I mapped those two themes onto the six psychological flexibility processes and realized that they were the same thing. So there are these three acceptance processes and three connection processes. So ACE, I've added the E on because the whole thing takes place in the whole body. And psychological flexibility is a lot about being with your present moment, your senses, rather than just in your head. Okay. Being psychologically flexible is a whole body process. And psychedelics work on the whole body. You know, po people often will say, I've got this funny feeling there and it's representing this and traumas, they hold them in the body and the unblocking of those traumas happens in a very somatic way. Um, so accept connecting body is essentially um, this psychological framework for supporting people through the study. But I've also developed one for a collective for helping people integrate psychedelic experiences as communities. And so we did our first accept connecting body at the community level um, weekend recently. Okay. And so people that had been on the first study came. Some of the people that were um, being in the early stages of the current study came. And lots of people that were using psychedelics on their own, a bit like you and your sofa in your old flat, for therapeutic purposes, for exploration. Yeah. But they didn't have a community of people to talk to about it. So we advertised it. It was a beautiful place in Devon. People just came. It was in, right in nature. People just came. It sold out really quickly. And we had a weekend together where we did exception, acceptance, connection and embodiment as a collective focused around the psychedelic experience, integrating it and connecting with each other. So the community level ACE is the acceptance is all about ritual. So the acceptance part of the model is about going into your pain. The acceptance part is diving down to the bottom of the sea and opening up the oyster shells. So that's in the, in the therapy model, it's the diving down into the pain. What do you do when you're in a collective, in a community with all of our collective shared grief about the things that we go through that are painful? We come together with a ritual and help us each other deal with it. So what we did is we, we had a big fire and a big pile of wood. And we went around in a group and we, we this is actually, they used to do this, well, they do this in San Pedro ceremonies. Okay. Um, so people take the San Pedro and they sit in a circle and they do this with the wood. And that's where I learned this actually. Okay. So it's, you take a piece of wood. Which is another psychedelic medicine that yeah. people usually take during the day. Yeah. Sometimes in between days of ayahuasca ceremonies. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I haven't had it. Mm. So, and yeah, so in the, the traditional indigenous way of using it, but you sit around a fire, you take a piece of wood. So we did this without the San Pedro, it was just the, the, the ritual. Mm -hmm. You take a piece of wood and we went around in a circle and you, you tell the group what this piece of wood recommends, something of yours that you want to, that no longer serves you, that you want to uh, release. And so you say, this piece of wood represents the relationship that I've been having with my mother recently. And you say a little bit, of, as much or as little as you want to say about it. You share it with the group, feel the emotion of it. And then you put it in the fire and you burn it. And you're not burning the relationship with your mother. You're burning the parts of the relationship that you know you haven't been fully honoring something or that you've been causing difficulties or something that you're doing that you want to release. And so we went around in a circle and it was amazing because there's all these shared themes. Like the theme about the relationship with the mother was basically everybody. So one person said, I'm burning like this aspect of my relationship with my mother and then somebody else and like 20 people all burning. And it's so good to have that shared sense of, oh, it's not just me. Right. We all suffer and struggle and we all get frustrated with ourselves for being annoying and, and we all want to, to do better, but we have to give ourselves a break and just allow ourselves to release rather than holding it all there in that safety mechanism that goes, be better, don't do this, because that doesn't really work. So we did this beautiful releasing ceremony and then we did some other rituals as well, all about processing grief and transformation. So some planting some seeds and watering them and all about the aspects of ourselves that we want to nurture and the parts of ourselves that we want to transform. So that's the acceptance part. So the acceptance on the group level is ritual. And then the connectedness part was all about values and people mapped out their values and then they compared that to a map of their life, what they're actually doing who they're seeing, what they're spending their time on and comparing the two. This is what really matters to me. This is what I'm doing with my week. Okay, is there an imbalance? And there usually is. 
And then people spend some time thinking about what their values are. For many people, it was about ecological restoration because of the, the crisis that we're in. Mm. And how to connect to community groups where they live. Like there are loads of wildlife trusts, local places where people can go and, 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 and help their local wildlife trusts or river. Um, you know, people can go and um, volunteer with a local river preservation and, and clear the river or like where I am, you know, your canal or whatever. So you, you can be part of, can, you can connect to people that have the same values as you and give back because service is one of the best things for our mental health. Yeah. It feels so good to be able to do that. So, so that the, the connection part was all about what are my values? How can I connect to communities that have the same values as me? And then the third part of the weekend was all about um, the E, the embody. And that was all we, we did dancing together. And we also did this thing called dynamic meditation, which is this dynamic meditation practice you do in a group. And it's all about, I don't know I if know you've ever it. heard of it. You we know do it dynamic. at all of our live do events. You? Oh, yeah. do you? I had Elliot Hulse on many years ago and he showed it to us <sighs> called the act of meditation. Then of course the Osho documentary came out. I know. But we still did, we had a thousand person event a couple months ago wow. and we all do it. It's amazing. Oh, we love it. Yeah. So good. I'm so <laughs> glad you, so people haven't heard of it. I'm so glad you have. I used to do it in Primrose Hill until really? one time the police came by because I was screaming. <laughs> Yes. So I moved to the Heath. Apparently you can scream in the Heath. Mm. You can't scream in a Royal Park. Yes. Um, all right, so you did that act of dynamic, dynamic meditation, meditation. So the breath and yeah. the grounding and the... Yeah, yeah and all of that. Screaming. And one of, one, of the, um, one of the participants from our first study, whose depression had come back since the first study, he said that he felt in the dynamic meditation with everybody, like he did on his psychedelic experience at Imperial in the first study, connectedness, you know, because everyone is there and you're all going through this process together and it's so the the e the embodiment is all about i've called it active togetherness we we need to do things using our bodies in groups whether it's dancing whether it's i don't know sometimes sports sometimes team games can do it but yeah we sit in our offices in individually in our heads and you know that that feeling of like communal active body moving is so healthy so at the end of the weekend, we'd done, we'd done the, the three parts of it and it, it was just beautiful to watch. And it felt like, ah, oh, if we could do this with communities and if this could be the, the hub, if this could be the structure within which psychedelics are actually end up being given around these kind of, in these kind of communities where you're integrating together, then that will change our, our culture enough so that psychedelics can really be effective. Because when people have done them, they, they're going back to a culture that's how do these kind of practices and this kind of vulnerability sharing of pe feelings right. rather than the, yeah, shutdown that we're in right now. Right.